amazing the way you all come up with the guiding of patients that have a very serious rhythm problem. And it's serious, its main seriousness is number one, the rate goes so fast you're in failure, or you stroke. That's the big concern with atrial fibrillation. How common is that? Well, the stroke instance is 75% due to hypertension. 25% of strokes are due to atrial fibrillation. But 25% just be, of strokes. Right, that, but just because you have atrial fibrillation doesn't mean you're going to have it. That's stroke. right. You, and you go to the doctor and you get on the blood thinner, Correct. so you won't have that. It reduces the stroke rate by 68%. Uh, that's, that just makes me feel good. That makes me relax. That makes me feel like, you know, there's so many people, if... 8% of the population has this, and as you, people get older and we're living older, then you can put them on treatment that allows them to have a quality of life and do what they, be able to play golf. That sounds good. Right? <laughs> George Kossel, you're a great teacher. Thanks for coming to the Dr. Bob Show. Any advice for people about staying healthy, preventing heart disease and atrial fibrillation? Try to stay away from a lot of caffeine, try to stay away from a lot of alcohol, try to get seven and a half hours of sleep a night, and be sure and get an annual checkup so if you're asymptomatic, your doctor can tell you.